So, um, so yeah, what we'll do here is uh, I'm going to go through a couple different cameras that I have. Um, here we go. I'll just pop that out of there. Where do you want me, Nick? Uh, let's see. What are we going to? We're going to try with. We got the V cam wide explosion. We've already seen that, but um, let's let's show you actually this in this camera here. So, Master Chief, and Master Chief is just cached FBX data. So what's happened is I've. This is me. Um, that has been rendered, or sorry, I've taken that motion capture another time and I've saved it out as FBX, which is the uh, the file for that, and I've imported in here. So you're going to see, he kind of walks up to the mouse, he's grabbing the mouse, boom, he flips for a second, and what that's doing is it's just replaying, so he's on a repeat loop. Um, so he's just doing whatever he's doing. Now, if I go over here, that right there is live data, and that is Mr. Eric Bear real time so everything if you can see his screen you can see everything he does vader's actually doing it so that's where we can we can have multiple nvn suits going or we can have a combination of some cache data there uh and then a real guy here so i can kind of like the traditional method is i can be the dp i can be the you know the director and i could be telling him what to do so uh guiding him it'd be even better if we had two mvns but i just don't think i could have all done all that at the same time as presenting so um what we'll do is uh, i've got a couple different cameras here so we're going to pop up we're going to do a vader close-up and we'll play that one and so i'm going to restart that because you had some messed up physics going on okay here we go and so, uh, yeah, so what I'll do is um, I'm just going to guide Eric here. So uh, can you do your line? So I'll just say uh, ready and action Vader. Very impressive. The Empire could use a woman like you. Perfect. Now, uh, just wonder, wonder if we could try a, a friendlier approach. A friendly Vader. Yeah, friendly Vader. Let's let's give it a right. Very impressive. The Empire could use a woman like you. Yeah, very good. So how about let's let's say uh I was gonna say you could taunt Master Chief a bit more, but I think that's pretty good. Uh let's give it a more aggressive uh, approach. Let's see see what you do. So this is, just to get my context, this is just after the explosion. I'm now approaching, Master, where is Master Chief in relation to me? He's gonna be directly in front of you. So direct, and, and I'm, uh, but uh, you don't want me facing the camera, you want me facing. Well, let's we'll right pretend back. that uh, Master Chief is at the camera, so eye level. Um, also, I think, you know, you, the explosion was your stormtroopers. You just lost the squad there, so you're a little, a little miffed about that. So maybe project that a little bit, and then give it a little bit more aggression on it. All right. You're mad. Your lightsaber is already out. Like you're, you're ready to go. Where do you but want it during, during this take? Uh, yeah, uh, the last position at an angle, going from the, to the left, top left of the screen. Yeah, I like that. Lens flare looks really good on that. Okay, and action Vader. Very impressive. The Empire could use a woman like you. <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's let's uh, let's just uh, switch this up here. Um, and then yeah, like uh, when we're doing this stuff, we can actually we can actually record that. So we, if we like something, we'll actually record it and we'll throw it in the uh, renderer and we can render it out and we can send it to our compositors. Really super neat stuff. Uh, so here's a Master Chief. Here, I'm gonna switch to the other, the Vader camera here. And then we'll give that one, save it. And then, uh, so this is all you. This is just a different angle. Okay. You're just gonna walk right, in. So and the rotation is different. Yeah. So, and that's the fun part. Like if something is in our way, we can always move it out of the way. So in this, originally this shot here, uh, there was a big plant in the way and I didn't like it. So I just got rid of it. So I guess. So uh, can, is it, you know, I'm, I'm coming up to the edge of my volume here. 
can you uh, maybe move me back so I can be a little bit, uh, I mean, move me forward in your space. Okay. So I have a little more room to work. So I've got you and I can move you forward. Great. I'm gonna play that. How's that? Very good. Very impressive. The Empire could use a woman like you. Not a chance. P.S. I'm, I'm a man. I will give you 24 hours to reconsider. Do not disappoint me. Cool. Cut. Uh, let's uh, let's cut on that one, and then we'll uh, this one we'll do. We'll speed it up a little bit. Or no, we'll slow it down. We'll slow it down. Let's walk in super massive Vader like. You want me to turn from the right or turn from the left? Uh, turn from the left, from camera left. So, uh, opposite. The Back other up way. that close to you. That's another thing we can do. See here, I'll show everybody as well. Um, you know, we we have like, oops, I duplicated you. Okay, so we can back this up. So here's our light. So you noticed earlier it was a little too bright. I can move it back a little bit, just depending on there. So on LX as well, which is nice. See, that's a lot better. Okay, and then, uh, so, so Master Chief is going to be to your right right now. Your right. My right. This there, way. yeah, that's what he's going to be. So you can turn, actually, you're creeping up on him. He's the one that doesn't realize you're there. So uh, you can start off in position pa facing him. All right. I like it. And then maybe back up about five paces if you can. Uh, other way. Turn around. Turn to your left. Oh, yeah. There you go. There. That's perfect. Now we can. And then have, forward is. Uh, nope. To your left. Forward is that other way. way. Yeah. So it'll be like this. Yeah. Or, if, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I like the lighting on that one. I think you're a little bit. I like the, the lighting from your lightsaber as well. So just give it a, let's give it a practice run um, to ones. Uh, and then action Vader. A very impressive breastplate. You are no man. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right, so we're going to go into with the other shot here. So uh, this is the one I skipped for uh, because there's a... Uh, we're going to have to move Vader around here for this one. So if I play that here, I'm going to have you walk back and forth. Walk around the room. See, I'm going to see where you're at right now. I can't really move the camera right now. because All right, walking. I'll pick up the pace so you can find me quicker. Okay, yeah. So it looks like we're going to make you... So camera's over here. I'm going to pull you into about there. Remember our tree. I moved the tree, which is cool. Okay, there you go. Now uh, turn ah. around. Where was yeah, I see you. Now you would uh, turn face towards uh, Master Chief, so be to your right, directly behind you. Yeah, right there, and that's where we do a rack focus. Now a rack right. focus in there. So um, just for the viewers, I'm gonna have you maybe take a little step to your left, just a little bit, just for framing. Yeah, that's perfect. So um, just for the viewers and for everybody here, um, this is a common practice in film. Um, it's called framing. So if you notice the tree in the background, it is in the background, but it's creating a physical or a visual barrier for you. Uh, so as the viewer, you watch and you see this in the middle of it and your brain picks it up. You don't really realize, but there's something directly between the two of the characters. It's not physically in their way if they're not going to walk into it, but visually it breaks them apart. Now that creates tension and it shows that they're not really uh, on the same page type of thing. And it, and it, it kind of gives you a little bit more conflict. 
in your mind. So really neat there. So that's why we've placed that there. Um, because I have the ability, of course, to move it out of the way. So I could put it over here and I could press play there and then there's no tree there. So this is a good shot. It's a tree, but I find it much more uh, visually beautiful and um, and it does have that framing that it builds you up a little bit forwards. So yeah, so in this particular shot, let's give you another shot here. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, have you step in towards Master Chief? Now, the issue with uh, working with cached data and FBX is the fact that um, we can't really tell him what to do. He's just going to do what he's doing. So Eric has to kind of keep up with him on that one. So uh, I'll have you just walk in. We'll just do this as the last shot. I think we're coming close to time. But if you go ahead and uh, walk in and say your line, and let's just give it up a different, give it a little bit different. Uh, let's let's switch up the lines here. Uh, you can improv this one if you want. Just throw in your own Eric Bear style trademark. And action Vader. Mandalorian. Look at me. Mandalorian. I am speaking to you. I am finding my place where are you there you are stop walking look at me you can be the new phasma come with me come with me i i'm telling you come with me are you mute jesus can this guy speak and another thing i can do here is i can take this uh Let's see, this is the MC cam. And I'm gonna grab that guy and I'm gonna pilot through there and then quickly add. Maybe he wants to be in shot. So now we've got you. We would just know traditionally we do a rack focus construction or uh, actually in the renderer. Join me. All right, Seriously. cut. <laughs> what I'll do here is I'm going to quickly throw the last shot in here. And then I'm just going to kind of, I mean, I do I do know that I was hinting during the whole time. Um, there, there are many things that I, as a uh, as an artist, can do here. Uh, you saw me changing the frame there, framing. Uh, first of all, that would be set deck normally on a regular set. This one here, um, I mean, if you've got trees, you really can't move them if they're permanent. So that's that's another thing that virtual production is a lot easier over the traditional style. Uh, another thing is like just removing things like that. I mean, just if I wanted to move the placement of this, I don't have to have construction and set deck come in and do that. Uh, lighting, I can move the lighting around. If I wanted to change the time of day, I could do that. I can move the actors, I can move them around, I can duplicate them, I can add them more, I can do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, stuff that you can't do uh, in a traditional, or you can do, but it's much more difficult. Um, so very handy stuff there. I'm just going to pop in the last VCam here. So for the, uh, this is another virtual camera, but this one here is very specific to a shot for Master Chief. So I'm going to have to turn this. Oh, am I going back in the volume? Uh, no, this one's just this one's going to be a solo on Master Chief. So. So as you can see, like if you play around with a cinematic camera and you get that real shake, um, it's really, really handy. Like if I want to look over here, that's the explosion right there. Let's replay this because the explosion will do it. And then you can add it. You know, you can do whatever you want, but it's really handy to be able to have this kind of cinematic look. And it looks super real. I know there's a little bit of clipping on, on Master Chief there, but this is early in on that. So. Um, yeah, that looks great. So uh, it's it's very handy, and I really love the fact that we can have uh, Eric Bear in here doing his amazing stuff. 